We have about 200 different types of gin, which can be a little bit overwhelming when you first arrive. Um, some of the ways we try to figure out what you'd like to drink is figuring out what flavor profile you're in the mood for. So if you want to have something sweet, sour, savory, or dry, and then also the country of origin. <laughs> so whether it be local, American, um, European, or maybe another African country. And then also, you know, if you're going to have a gin and tonic or if you're going to have a cocktail. Um, so this is the Klein Slaki, um, a really lovely um, gin cocktail, um, not too sweet, not too bitter, uh, very refreshing. It's got elderflower, mint and um, cucumber, so you can really taste the mint, which um, gives it a lovely flavour. Um, I think in terms of um, gins that are available out there, obviously there are a lot more that have come onto the market recently, and I think everybody's really enjoying uh, experimenting with different options. We have hooked onto the trend, the global trend of gin growing, and it's definitely the, the, the documented uh, fastest growing white spirit in the world. And we see that in the year we've gone from three small craft gins to 15 and one popping up um, every month, a new distillery uh, countrywide. I think what's interesting to see is what makes our gins different from, from gins in the UK and the US and in Spain. And we really have some amazing stories. We have Feinbos, uh, we own that, king, that plant kingdom and, and the Feinbos gins have, have really jumped out of the woodwork from uh, beautiful plants uh, with flavors and, and health benefits to the rooibos, the famous rooibos. The Cape Floral region is really um, special because it is one of the world's biodiversity hotspots. And for such a small area, it really has a concentration of plants that are endemic to the region. Um, they say there's about 9,000 plant species that are actually found in the Cape Flora. And about 500 of these are utilized locally as traditional medicines. The base alcohol we produce is a white wine derived spirit that's been distilled for about 150 times through column distillation techniques. That base alcohol is then used to soak in 27 different botanicals which adds a lot more complexity to our gin. It uh, adds to a very herbaceous and very aromatic product.
the success of it has been absolutely phenomenal. Um, to give you an idea, we, we've been producing approximately 10,000 to 12,000 bottles per year of our entire range, which consists of a few different grappa, um, eau de vie, port, uh, liqueurs. So all combined, we're talking about 12,000 bottles, and we're now already on a volume of 5,000 bottles per month of gin only. So it's, 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 it's a whole different league. You must get the gin more. Else.